Hello everyone, Melody here, mom of four in our blended family of six. Today's video is going to be a preview on our new math curriculum, Beast Academy. I'm gonna be looking through level four, uh, but hopefully this will give you an idea of what that curriculum looks like, no matter what level you're looking at, or if you're just checking it out to see if it's something you're interested in in the first place. If you like today's video, please make sure to take the time to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. It really helps out when we get those likes on the videos and the subscriptions so I know what you guys are interested in. As it goes along, if I don't answer your questions, put a comment in those boxes below so that I have a chance to answer those questions. If you're interested in getting to know more about our family and this channel, check us out on our Instagram account at homeschool happy hour and let us know what you think. What questions do you have? What things are you interested in seeing more of? But let's get on with the show here and check out our newest curriculum, Beast Academy. If you watched my video on our fifth grade curriculum plan for next year, you've already briefly seen Beast Academy and you know that this is going to be our first year using it. So this video is a preview, not a review. I haven't actually used these materials with my kids yet. I did want to give you a chance to see inside them and look for yourselves what they really looked like. So Beast Academy is a program that is from the art of problem solving. They're geared towards children ages eight to 13 and their program comes in multiple levels, not grades, levels, starting at level two and going up through level five. Each level is geared towards an age range for a kid, but you can get online at beastacademy.com and see some excellent samples of the work from the different levels. It'll tell you what each level covers. Each level comes with four different sets of books, A, B, C, and D. From what I can see at first glance, they look really enticing for kids, which I'm really excited about. I, you've not heard me mention it before. Bean Bean, um, math comes naturally to her. We've tried a lot of different math programs, some really good math programs, but she just wasn't interested in them. And because she has such an affinity for math, I wanted her to also have a joy for math and she's not gonna have that if she doesn't enjoy the materials she uses. So. These materials looked much more her style. They also have in their online program, um, if you do that, you get access to all the different levels. So if you start off at say level two, but then as you're going, you realize that's just too easy. Your child needs to move to level three or vice versa. You can move around through their online program. I personally prefer printed materials. So I ordered all of the level four A through D materials each book set for A through D comes with the guide and the practice manual. I'll open both these puppies up so you can see inside them. The full set of materials was $108 plus tax, of course, and level 4A is geared towards children ages 10 to 12. Before I babble on all day long, let's look at the books themselves. Here we have all of the books in the level four, starting with the A's all the way through the D's. So I'm going to not go through every single book in detail, but I will give you a glance inside each one. If we jump right into book 4A, the guide and the practice manual. The first thing you'll notice is that when you open it up, it gives you the series that they have here. Well, actually the first thing you might notice is this fun little guy here, a uh, very colorful alien dude. And then it gives you the contents. There's a, an introduction to all the different characters that are in here. I love how this is written in a fun way that might appeal to a child. I like they're reading a story that they love and not doing math work. And then it gives you a how to use this book and it is in comic book style. This style runs true throughout the entire book. This will give your child um, 
directions on how to use the guide, how to read it if they haven't been exposed to comic books before, and what different things mean as they go through the book to pay attention to. And then it goes right into chapter one, which is all about shapes. I really like how it infuses humor and just a fun storyline for the kids to enjoy as they're learning their math. What you might notice is that it just keeps going. Chapter one, shapes. It goes on and on and on. It doesn't have a set lesson. It will have some stop signs that show you when to stop and try and do something. But the guidebook can be read at your child's own pace. It doesn't necessarily tell them to stop at a certain point until you get to the end of the chapter. So chances are your child is not going to do an entire chapter of math in one sitting. But if they want to, they could certainly read through the entire chapter to start them off, or they could just read a little bit until they've had enough and take a break. It gives you more stop and try it. And then at the end of at the end of chapter one, an activity for your kiddos to try. So there's not a lot to see inside the guidebook other than to point out the awesome, colorful, and sometimes hilarious comics that were put together. Next, we're going to look at the practice manual. The practice manual is not as colorful as the guidebook, but that is okay. It gives you an introduction, gives you a table of contents, an introduction so that you understand how to use it. These pages are perforated. I like that. I intend to pull out a few pages um, to give my kid a little bit to work on at a time. When I ordered this book, I did not realize it, but you'll notice there really isn't a scope and sequence here. It jumps right into chapter one and right into the practice problems. And just like the guide, it kind of just keeps going. It, and it's numbered all the way through chapter one until you get to the end where you have, oh, where is it? Here we go, there's chapter two. So 161 questions in chapter one. Again, your child is probably not going to do 161 questions in one sitting. That's just unreasonable. And so I asked myself, well, how am I supposed to divide this? What's the best way to do that? And of course, I could just do it however I want. That's the beauty of homeschooling. But I personally, when I have a new curriculum, I like to at least have a baseline to work from so I have an idea. It does tell you what pages in the guide go along with what pages in the practice manual. It's got a recommended sequence and it has some examples as you can see in chapter two. Some fun stuff and still that comic book feel even though it's not as colorful. I got online to beastacademy.com to answer my question about the scope and sequence and I found they actually do have one. They have it broken down into what pages in the guide you can read and then what pages in the practice manual you can read. But if you look online, it does recommend assigning it by time and not by lesson. So depending on your child's interest and or ability to be still for however long, they could spend 10 minutes on math, they could spend 30 minutes on math, whatever you and your child feel is appropriate. So there's 189 lessons total if you go by this scope and sequence that you can go online and print off. I wrote down, it's broken down by chapter, so there's just 14 lessons in chapter one. Uh, you can see 15 lessons in chapter nine and so on and so forth. You don't have to follow their scope and sequence, but it is available online to print for free if it's something that you would find helpful. We look at Beast Academy Math Guide 4B. It talks about counting, division, logic, and we have more comic book style. I'm really excited about this comic book format for the Bean Bean. This is totally up her alley. Again, this is for 
children ages 8 to 13, and it is considered an advanced math program. So they recommend that you get online and take their placement test before deciding what level to start your child at because they are not by grade, they are by level. Once you finish this program, I'm just gonna keep flipping through here so you can see different examples of the artwork and how it's put together. But once you finish their program, they have the art of problem solving, which is where this uh, program comes from, and that's for grades five through 12, starting with pre-algebra. Four, it's going to do factors, fractions, and integers. If you're not sure what to do with your child if they're age six, seven, five, or whatnot, and you're really wanting to have some kind of math curriculum for them, then um, they don't have like a preschool program. But honestly, based on what I saw from their level two, if your child is at that level, it's that's a good time to maybe start a curriculum. And prior to that, just have some fun. Try some different uh, hands-on activities, and I wouldn't worry so much about a curriculum at that age. Just doing some counting games and getting some hands-on manipulatives, that kind of thing. That's your level 4C, your practice manual, if I open it up, it's very similar to the other practice manuals. Whenever I'm looking at a new curriculum, I personally like to see what it has to offer for the actual practice work. So you notice there's some that have stars on them or two stars. Those are supposed to be challenge problems for your kiddo. And there's some different games in here. This one, Fraction Sum Link Puzzles. If your child likes math games or math puzzles, they offer plenty of those. Last one is 4D. We have more of our comic book style. So really, it comes across as fairly simple in the way it's put together. It seems very child focused, focused on make, making math fun, which is exactly why I got it. The end of each practice manual, I should have pointed out, all the answers are actually in the back of the practice manual, which is another reason why I wanted to make use of the perforated pages in here so that I can just give my child these pages and I can use the manual itself. Also to help them not feel so overwhelmed perhaps, with the amount of work there, if I just give them a page or two to work on. So I'm looking forward to using this curriculum. If it looks like something you're interested in, let me know what you think. If it looks like, or if it's something you have already tried and you have advice, input, comments, suggestions about the curriculum itself, please put a comment in the comment box below and let me know if this video is helpful to you. If you're wondering why I was parked on the floor for today's video, it is because Mr. Mushu over here just had a bath. Oh, and now he's on the run. Mushu, where are you going? Where are you going, buddy?